guys, welcome back to Travel Kids Tribe, and today I'm going to be doing another Abyss Paint tutorial. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to use layers, and here we have the normal menu, and right down here, you'll see the little one and three squares, and that is, if you, if you press on that, then you get into the menu with all the layers. The normal layer, which is the first layer, is the one that you have anyway. When you draw on that, you see all your stuff on there. That's the first layer. If you press the plus button over here, then it makes a new layer. And on this layer, you can also do drawing and a bunch of stuff. Um, but you can see the little eyes by here, the little eyes right there. If you press these eyes, then it basically shows if it's visible or not. So if it's coloured and then it's visible. And if it is not coloured in, then that layer is not visible. We also have the selection layer, which you use with the magic wand. Um, and I have shown how to use the magic wand in a different video, by the way, so go check that out. But yeah, that's basically layers, and if you want to delete a layer, then we go to the trash bin over here. There's also another option, which, let me just quickly do something on this layer. See the little thing right here? That merges the layers, which means that the two layers fuse into one. So, yeah, there's that. And if you want to add a photo to a layer, then press this camera button here. If you want to flip the layer, then press this button. And this one. This is to transform the layer, which is to just move it around. This is to clear it, to just like erase absolutely everything, which is not a fun thing to do if you're in the middle of a drawing. Then we also have these buttons over here, which show the background. So these backgrounds are super duper helpful. They basically just let you know if something is see-through, like if you're doing a drawing and you've kept it on the white, like I usually do, and you think, oh, well, this part's going to be white, but then you do a background and it's not. Then a good way to just make sure is to go with these. They could also help you make transparent stickers, which I will show you how to do in a different video, so don't worry about that. Alpha lock is basically just like making sure that a layer can't be moved, can't be deleted, just keeps it there so that you don't have any accidents with it. Then this down here changes the opacity of a layer. So if I were just to do a little thing like this, then the opacity just shows how clear or not, basically how see-through the layer is. Here we have more flip options, and over here you have inverted colour layer, which is interesting, it basically just makes the layer inverted coloured. I don't usually use this, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, and here you have saving the layer as different things. You can save it as a picture in itself with these three options. Transparent PNG is basically how you make a sticker. Rename layers, just change the layer from 1 to whatever you want to call it. And it'll be right there. Select opacity is basically the thing that I showed you earlier. This bar. And clear white. I'm not really sure what that does. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then don't forget to leave a like. Um, comment your thoughts and feelings, and any suggestions for videos that I could do in the future. And subscribe for more awesome content, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye!